वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास प्लस टू सी यस बेटा वी आर डूइंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट चैप्टर इवान ट्राइज एंड ओ लेवल ओके दोज हु आर नॉट देर आई गेस मोस्ट ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर देयर दैट डे द प्रीवियस डेज दो बी एबल टू अंडरस्टैंड बट लेट्स रिवाइज यू कैन से ब्रीफ पॉइंट आई हैव रिटर्न ऑन द बोर्ड फॉर यू Uh, as you know that protagonist of the chapter is Evans James Roderick Evans is his full name fine but we will be calling him Evans he is very much famous uh, in you can say jail authorities with the name of uh, Evans the break or even some officers call him uh, Einstein uh, why because he is so uh, you can say sharp minded fellow and the thrice he has escaped from the jail and he is so much famous so that's why people call him jail break also fine evans the break specifically they call use this term evans the break fine so thrice he has escaped from the prison so now this time for the fourth time he is imprisoned and uh, he has been taking classes in german language he has been taking evening classes in german language and now he has requested the authorities obviously to take the exam that is o level exam that is the base level o level means the beginning uh, or the way you know you learn in primary classes you learn languages in that way so o level is at base level so o level german exam he is going to take fine and for that now the story starts with telephonic conversation between governor and secretary of exam board so governor asks the secretary to you know arrange for the exam and secretary thinks that this is the great thing that they are even arranging exam for one per, uh, person only so he appreciates governor for that and go, then he asks about evans to him the so governor tells us at that time we get to know that what sort of person is evans then he says that you need not get scared of evans he is not going to murder or uh, someone or he's not like that he's just leptomaniac he has the habit of stealing the things with uh, you can say just with the habit so uh, after the conversation we get to know that uh, one invigilator was uh, about to come that day fine one invigilator will be coming and uh, yes plus one b a student japanpreet please leave the uh, class immediately it's not your english period please make sure okay so uh, uh so we were on this point that how the conversation between governor and secretary of the board exam goes and uh, how they decided that exam will be conducted so what arrangements were made whatever was done we are going to discuss that also so an o level german exam to be conducted for a prisoner named ivan so ivan being the protagonist right two officers were appointed to have strict vigil on that person that is jackson and stephens right uh, jackson is the old officer over there and stephens is the newly appointed officer so both of them have the authority to keep a strict check uh, what sort of objects he is having even the governor give you can say of oxford prison he gives the instructions that they need to remove each and every pointed object from his cell whether he was shaving with razor or nail cutter nail filer scissors whatever he is having they are supposed to remove it from the cell so that ivans might not use it for his own purpose and he might run away during the exam because somebody is coming in and uh, doors are otherwise not open fine they will be unlocked that particular day so th that was the arrangement then uh, please note down these five points arrangements made for conduct of exam so this is the question as well uh, these uh, things are going to play important part in the story further so you should know these names and the things which were done so please be very particular about it arrangements made for conduct of exam who is going to appear in the exam let me ask yes uh, rasika uh, samyak jain any more few i have just asked two students to unmute whosoever gives answer who is going to appear in the exam jaldi se bataiye rasika aur samyak jain maine dono ko unmute kiya hai yes ma'am 
Who's going to appear in the exam, beta? Ma'am, Evans. Evans. And the conversation. Uh, what was the conversation between governor and secretary? If you can tell us. They were talking about the invigilation of Evans during the exam. That they have to take care that he may not escape. Yes, very good. So you can mute yourself. Uh, see, so this conversation was about the invigilation of the exam to be conducted for Evans. So find so arrangements made. Now please have a close look on this. First arrangement was uh, like they uh, hired in vigilator. Fine. Uh, his name was McLeary. Fine. Reverence toward McLeary. So that person was a parson. Fine. Parsons, you know, they are very well read, well uh, educated personalities. Sometimes they are wor working in some universities and in churches and all. So one invigilator was arranged for that exam. Secondly, two officers, namely Jackson and Stephens, they were arranged for, you can say, having a close look on events for that particular day. Third is microphone was placed in the cell. Why microphone was placed? So that they can, uh, governor specifically himself can uh, hear the conversation between invigilator and uh, you can say uh, events, fine? So both of them will be there in the cell that for that duration. So that, that's why microphone was placed in cell. They never wanted to take any sort of chance. So they wanted to have the conversation. Fourth point is all sharp objects were taken from events. Even his, uh, when he was doing his, you can say shave, it, then he had scissors to cutting the nail and nail filer, razor, scissors, nail filer, nail cutters, whatever pointed objects he was having they took it away from him so that he might not use it for his own benefit. Then even they checked, do you know, when McLeary, invigilator will be arriving over there, they will, they will check the suitcase of McLeary also. So because he was having many things, uh, papers and, you know, related objects and even paper knife was taken from McLeary, the invigilator. So do, these two officers, Jackson and Stephens, were having the authority to keep that in, uh, eye on him. And they asked uh, even invigilator to remove the paper knife because, you know, during the exam when invigilator uses the paper knife to cut the things and all. So even they took it away just for the safety sake. Is that clear to you all, beta? Please send me your feedback. Sare points clear, eh? Make sure. Jaldi se quick responses. Not all the students are showing me. Those who are showing, they are present for me only then. Rest of them are absent. Fine. So uh, these are the points. Now the thing is, some mistakes are also they have done. Like he was wearing a hat. McLeary, uh, sorry, Evans was wearing a hat. Officer Jackson meets him and asks him also to remove the hat. But he says that it is my lucky charm and I need it during the exam. So let it be. And he allows it. So that was the first mistake that he, why he is allowing him to wear a hat during the exam because a hat is huge enough to hide the, we can say many things, the view will not be clear to the officers if they are going to have an eye from outside the cell. Fine. So that was the mistake. Clear. And there were some other mistakes like he was already knowing who the invigilator is. So if uh, Evans was already aware who the invigilator is, how come he knows? So even then, uh, when officer asks him, how do you know? He says, okay, I have, you know, signed some papers and that's why I got to know. So he did not cross check this thing also. That how does he knows about, how does he know about the, uh, you can say, invigilator and all. So about the hat, about the, these particular things. Uh, so that's why we can say that that was the mistake done by jail authorities also one of the officers now let me show you uh, i'll be sharing the screen now please have a look <coughs> see beta those who have joined now so evans tries and all level is a story of a criminal named evans in this story colin daxter jo writer hai iske, he shows how an individual is able to shake the entire police department with his cleverness and ingenuity. Fine.
for this Jackson and Stephens visit events. Two officers fine were upon, appointed for this purpose. Half an hour before the examination, Jackson and Stephens visited Evans' cell. Evans was given a blade to shave himself. Stephens takes the blade after the shave. Fine. Already discussed with you all, but I'm just showing you so that you can have an idea in your mind. So arrival of the invigilator that we will be reading today. Invigilator, Reverend means respected. Reverend Stuart MacLeary is his full name. A parson, you know, a parson, I told you, a person from the church. Fine, well-read, well-educated person uh, who also work in uh, universities and all. Lived alone in his flat in Ward Street. So he is the person who lived all alone. Please uh, have a keen eye on this information because each and every information has to do something in the chapter. So he's a parson and he does not have any other family. He lives all alone in his flat in Ward Street. At 8.45 a.m. left, arrived at the gate prison, led to Ivan's cell. So at 8.45 a.m. he left, fine. Who? McLeary. The invigilator, jo exam lene aya. he arrived at the gate prison and then he was taken to the Evans, he was taken to the cell of Evans at 8.45 a.m. 9.15 pe exam start on hai, 9 minute pe. So half an hour before he was taken there and he was introduced to Evans. Clear? Chaliye, now we will be continuing. Can you see the screen better? See, uh, yes. So when microphone was placed in his uh, cell and he was also getting irritated by seeing that how they are taking all the sharp objects from me and uh, how they are, you know, placing the microphone inside and everything is being in a very, uh, you can say, strict way they are doing. Yes, we are supposed to start from here. So please be very, very uh, particular. I'll be asking you questions in between. At 8.45, the same morning, the Reverend Stuart McLeary left his bachelor flat in Broad Street <coughs> and stepped out briskly towards Carfax. The weatherman reported temperatures considerably below the normal for early June and a long black overcoat and a shallow crowned clerical hat provided welcome protection from the steady drizzle which had set in half an hour earlier and which now spattered the thick lenses of his spectacles. So they are telling the weather. It was normal for early June. And the dressing sense of that invigilator wearing la long coat and hat and that. In his right hand, he was carrying a small brown suitcase. I'm talking about better invigilator, McLean. So please make sure that you are clear about what I'm reading. So small brown suitcase. This is also important. He's holding a suitcase, which is brown in color in right hand, which contained that all but whatever he required for his morning duties, including Underline this is what are the objects inside the suitcase? Sealed cushion paper envelope, yellow invigilation form, a special authentication, jo I card of the exam board, ka, a paper knife, a Bible, because he has to go somewhere else after this. So he was carrying Bible and he's a parson, you remember that. And a copy of the Church Times newspaper, hai, the Church Times, uski copy bhi, uske paas thi. The two-hour examination was scheduled to start at 9.15 a.m. So 9.15 pay exam was about to start, underline this time also. Evans was leathering his face vigorously when Stephens brought in two small square tables and set them opposite each other. The narrow space between the bunk on the one side and other a distempered stone wall. So Stephens, that newly appointed officer of Oxford Prison, he was making the arrangements, he was keeping the table and uh, you can say, he also, uh, uh, you can say, kept a microphone and chairs, whatever was required for invigilator and events that day. Jackson put in a brief final appearance, behave yourself, Larry. So Jackson also comes because Jackson being the senior officer, he comes to warn, uh, you can say, events that be, you can behave properly, otherwise we're keeping an eye. 
Bell said, okay. Jackson pointed to the pinups. Off, Eva turned and nodded again. I was going to take them down anyway. A minister, isn't it? And the chap coming to sit in, I mean. This is the accent of Evans. Wo aise baat karta. He's not pronouncing the whole words. You can say, I was going, am down, fine. Is it E? So H sound were pronounced because of his accent is different than the others. How did you know that Jackson quietly? So he's saying, Yaha pe beta, this is the thing I was talking about. A minister isn't E. So he said, okay, a minister is coming. I'm going to take an exam today. Minister is that person, you know, from a parson and all. So then Jackson asked, how did you know that? They have not informed him. Uh, well, I had to sign some forms. Didn't I? And I couldn't help. I couldn't help means I couldn't uh, help uh, see. I saw that when I have to sign paper signs, kare, one when I have to sign some papers, then their name was written. Ivans drew the razor carefully down his left cheek. So he's doing his shave it side by side. He's doing this. Fine. So this is the mistake. Uh, and Jackson did not cross check it. Ki isko kaise pata hai ya ek minister aa hai. Fine. Why did they have to bug me in this cell? He nodded his head vaguely to a point above the door. Not a very neat job, considered Jackson. They are not. They don't honestly think I'm going to try to. They are taking no chances, Evans. Nobody in his senses would take any chance with you. So he says that why so much precautions are taken? Why they are so particular about this thing? Uh, then he says that because they don't want to take any chance. Fine. That they are not at all uh, going to take any chance because you're so clever enough. So that's why governor has made arrangements. Fine. Yaha tak sabko clear hai, beta. Any doubt? Don't carry the doubt further. Otherwise, story much bhi nahi aayegi. Okay, let me take it further then. So, uh, governor himself, he don't trust you a bloody inch, nor do I. Nobody trusts you, you know. So, that's why I'll be watching you like a hawk. Hawk, you know, known for the keen observation, that bird. So, keep, uh, he walked towards the door, Evans noted. He walked towards the door, Evans noted. He would already thought of that. And number two handkerchief was lying ready on the bunk, a neatly folded square of white linen. Handkerchief is also lying there. Please mind it. Just one more thing. Einstein, yeah, what's that? Good luck, old son. So, so good luck, bolke. he goes off. Jackson goes. In the little lodge just inside the prison's main gates, the Reverend S. McLeary signed his name neatly in the visitor's book and then walked side by side with a silent prison officer across the exercise yard to Deving. <coughs> After signing the entry, McLeary has arrived McLeary, the invigilator, has entered the Oxford prison. He was greeted by Jackson. D wing may Ivans ko rakha gaya. The wing's heavy outer door was unlocked and locked behind them. The heavy inner door, the same McLeary was handed into Stephen's keeping. Get the razor, murmured Jackson. Stephen noted, well, keep your eyes skinned clear. So Jackson being the senior officer, I told you, giving instructions to Stephen's to take away the razor. <coughs> Stephen nodded. Luckily, his feet clenching up the iron stairs followed his new guide and finally stood before a cell door where Stephen opened the peephole and looked through. That's him, sir. Ivas, facing the door, sat quietly at the father of the two tables. His whole attention reverted to a textbook of elementary German grammar. I told you, Rabita, O level exam is called elementary. Beginners ke liye, jab aap chote hoti ho, elementary aap English padhti ho, elementary grammar padhti ho. Right? Basic. So he's learning a new language, German language. So elementary book of German languages. That's why O level. So O level ke baad different levels of exams hoti hai. So base level hai hai uska. Clear? So he looks at the book. Stephens took the key from its ring and the cell lock sprang back with a thundered metallic twang. So when vigilator entered, the door was locked behind. It was 9, 10 a.m. Now, the exam started. Governor switched on the receiver. Microphone ko on kar diya gaya. And he had instructed Jackson to tell Evans of the temporary little precaution. That was only fair as if Evans were not spotted. But was not it all a bit theatrical? Schoolboyish almost. How on earth was Evans going to try anybody on today? If he was so anxious to make another break, 
why heaven's name had not he tried it from the recreational block much easier but he had not and there he was now sitting in a log the cell all the prison officers on the alert two more locked doors between his cell and the yard and a yard with a wall as high as a haystack yes he was was as safe as houses so governor he is taking extra precautions to you know that three times already he has run away so he is thinking ki agar isko bhagna hota to ye wahan se bhag sakta tha but now see he is already locked in the cell with the invigilator and there are a number of doors two more locked doors you can see kitne sare locked doors and high security alert is there microphone is placed sharp objects are taken so there is a very thin chance that who can he cannot run away according to governor governor has taken each and every precaution anyway it wouldn't be any trouble to all to have the receiver turned on for the next couple of hours or so it was not as if there was going to be anything to listen to amongst other things and even vigilator's duty was to ensure that the strictest silence was observed or waise bhi when exam is going on nobody speaks at all but still that little lagging doubt so fir bhi doubt tha governor ko ki even then i will keep that microphone might even try to take advantage of backlery get him to struggle in a chisel or two or rope or ladder kya pata wo you know he could kill uh, invigilator backlery also he could use rope or ladder or chisel uh, he is like you can say any way, many ways are there to kill a person so they do not want to take a chance so that's why stephens and jackson will be taking care of the cell personally governor sat up sharply it was all very well getting rid of any potential weapon that he once could have used but what about mcleary fir governor ko aata hai idea ki what about ki if unwittingly unknowingly that innocent invigilator might brought something jack knife or kuch bhi so that evans can use in his uh, uh, for his you can say running away and all governor reached for the phone so governor phone karta it was 9 12 teen minute pehle exam ke the examiner and the vigilator had already been introduced by stephens when jackson came back and shouted to mcleary through the cell door can you come outside a minute sir you to stephens so jackson got a call from governor stephens andar hai wahan pe and mcleary is also there introduction of invigilator and uh, evans has been done so he was called out jackson quickly explained the governor's worries and mcleary patiently held out his arms <coughs> at shoulder level so wo apna bhi checking karwata hai something hard here so when jackson checks mcleary the invigilator his pockets he says something hard in your pocket he says these are my reading glasses then jackson quite quickly reassured him and bending down on the landing thumb fixed and catches the suitcase kehta apna suitcase bhi check karwao each and everything he picked up each and well up in turn carefully passed his palms along their surfaces and seemed satisfied after checking everything he was satisfied he refilled curiously through a few pages of holy writ vaguely shook the ch- uh, church time sab kuch hila ke check karta hai newspaper bible all right but one of the objects in mcleary's suitcase was puzzling him sorely beta please be very particular about this thing do you mind telling me why you have brought this sir he held up a smallish underline this semi inflated rubber ring such as a young child with a waist of about 12 inches might have struggled into thinking of going for a swim sir so that is the object which is quite different in the suitcase of invigilator usne ek rubber ring rakha hua hai semi inflated inflated aap dekhte jaise jab aap when young kids and toddlers are going into the swimming pools and having that round uh, rubber ring so that they might not drown that sort of rubber ring was there that is to be used by a kid only to kehta sir do you have to plan to go to swim and this is very small ring to be used by the kids and what is it exactly so that was the question now why he has kept it mcleary's you know amiable demeanor was slightly ruffled by this tasteless little pleasantry usko bahut hi uska behavior demeanor uska jo hota hai amiable means very pleasing behavior 
it was like you know he was disgusted on this ki why you know he has touched this but he answered jackson somewhat sorely usko gussa aata hai ki this is my personal thing he is touching if you must know i suffer from hemorrhoids and when i'm sitting down for any length of time hemorrhoids is a problem of piles when a person sits you know it is difficulty for the person sometimes to sit on a hard object hard surface so he says he becomes so sore at that time ki isne mera personal saman bhi cheda hai in vigilator ko lagta hai ki why is so much of checking so then he with he got this hardened but he tells the officer jackson that ye semi inflated ring hai isko pehle main rakhta hu iske upar baithta hu because i have problem of hemorrhoids right so it's not easy for me to sit without this so he says okay fine very sorry sir i didn't mean to so he feel sorry ki i touched your personal thing the embarrassment was still reddening jackson's cheeks so jackson was also embarrassed ki mere kyun usko aise na check kiya he found the paper knife at the bottom then finally paper knife was there i think i better keep this though so he keeps that paper knife it was 9:18 am before the governor heard their voices again and it was clear that examination was going to be more than a little late in getting underway तीन मिनट लेट हो चुके हैं अभी थोड़ा और हो जाएगा इट मीन नाइन फिफ्टीन पे इट वॉज अबाउट टू स्टार्ट बट नाउ इट इज नाइन एटीन बिकॉज चेकिंग इज स्टिल गोइंग ऑन मैकलेरी यू हैव गॉट अ वॉच येस सर आई एल बी टेलिंग यू वेन टू स्टार्ट एट अगेन वेन यू हैव फाइव मिनट्स लेफ्ट ए राइट फर्स्ट इंस्ट्रक्शन ध्यान से सुन रहे कन्वर्सेशन मैकलेरी ने कोई इंस्ट्रक्शन दी है उसको Silence. Now write the name of the paper. Better underline this thing. Underline this thing. Very important. O to one, <coughs> one in the top left hand corner. जैसे आपका क्वेश्चन पेपर का कोड होता है ना. This is what McLeary is dictating him to write the code. Zero to one hyphen one in the top left corner. Silence. He soon read. Governor is overhearing the conversation in the microphone. In the top right hand corner, write your index number three one three, and in the box just below that, write your center number two seven one. All right. Silence. Nine twenty. हो गए. दो मिनट पे उसने instructions दे दी. कुछ एक numbers बोले जो आपको underline करने में था. These numbers are going to be very useful later on. I'm going to is not going to stay here. Is E. So, Evans कहता है कि ये स्टीफन्स क्यों अंदर खड़ा है एग्जाम मेरा हो रहा है टेकिंग द एग्जाम व्हाई दिस मैन आई डोंट नो अबाउट दैट मैकलेरी कहता है मुझे क्या पता है दिस इज देयर ड्यूटी मिस्टर जैक्सन गिवन मी स्ट्रिक्ट इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू स्टीफन्स कहता है कि आई गॉट इंस्ट्रक्शंस फ्रॉम माय सीनियर ऑफिसर मिस्टर जैक्सन मैं क्यों हिलू यहां से आई विल बी हेयर ओनली इवेंस हाउ एम सपोज टू कंसेंट्रेट ऑन माई एग्जाम विथ सम Breathe it down my neck, Christ! Sorry, sir, I didn't mean. Why this man is, you know, standing there, sitting on the floor? How will I do my paper? Karunga? The governor reached for the phone. Jackson, ah, good. Get Stephens out of the cell, will you? I think we are perhaps overdoing the things as you wish, sir. Governor is overhearing the conversation. Governor says, "Okay, we are overdoing. And it's not tight security. Yeah, I don't think so. Stephens." Need to stay inside the cell, so ask him to come out as per governor's order. Jackson, then Stephens, go out. Do you think this is correct? Do you think Stephens should come out or Stephens should remain inside only? Yes, Amar Preet, are you listening, Bita? Answer me, jaldi se. he should not come out okay yes according to rasika he should not come out yes gorav what do you say baki bhi apna chat box mein likh sakte if you don't want to speak by unmuting i have given the authority you can speak gorav prabnur please speak beta do you think so this is the blunder they are doing or this is fine Yes, Prabhu, tell me, son. You have unmuted yourself. Mom, it's oh. uh, it's 
Test the blender because. So Gaurav is saying he should not come out. Okay, so some he should remain inside according to law. So all of you are saying he should remain inside because it is other strict is agar di hai. So one should follow that, you know. So exam has been started. Instructions are given. Some numbers are given to write over there. Will it make some other sense at the later on, or what is going to happen? That is to be seen. This is very interesting story, enhancing the curiosity, you know. So let's see. Jitna ho sakte hai, bell to hone wali, but you stay there for two three minutes. So uh, let me read read this page only. The governor heard the exchanges in the cell, heard the door clang once more, and heard McLeary announce that examination had begun at last. So it was nine twenty five a.m. Ten minutes late start was exam. Okay, mind it. At nine twenty five a.m. there was a great calm. At nine forty a.m. the examinations board rang through. At nine forty a.m., examination board ran through, and the assistant secretary, with special responsibility for modern languages, asked to speak to the governor. Th this is something very fishy, beta. Very fishy. Nine twenty-five a.m. पे paper तो start हो गया है, and uh, even Stephens was taken out. But nine forty a.m. पे examinations board ran through. Assistant secretary, with special responsibility for modern languages, asked to speak to the governor. तो एग्जामिनेशन बोर्ड से फोन आता है कि गवर्नर से बात करनी है और देर वॉज अ करेक्शन स्लिप विच सम फूल हैड फॉर गॉडर टू प्लेस इन द एग्जामिनेशन पैकेज वेरी ब्रीफ पुट द गवर्नर प्लीज ये ऑफ कोर्स आई पुट यू स्ट्रेट थ्रू द मिस्टर जैक्सन एंड डी वी होल्ड द लाइन इन अट सो गवर्नर से बात करता है वो कि देर इज यू नो ऑलवेज देर इज अ करेक्शन इन द एग्जामिनेशन यू कैन सी द पेपर जैसे आपकी करेक्शन भी आती है So that phone from the examination cell, that person says that one slip has been forgotten by some stupid person. So there is correction in the question paper. And can you tell me? So he says that okay, I will give this phone to Mr. Jackson. वो वहीं पे है डीविंग में. He will hand it over. He will inform. So Mr. Jackson got the call. I'll put you straight through. To, uh, hold the line a minute. Was this the sort of the thing the governor had feared? Was the phone call a fake? Some signal, some secret message, but he could check on that immediately. He dialed the number of examination board, but heard only the staccato bleeps of a line engaged. After listening to that phone, उसको लगता है गवर्नर को क्या मैंने mistake तो नहीं कर दी है. It can be a fake call. It can be someone else. So I should call examination board to cross check. But when he called, वहाँ पे staccato bleep line engaging का ही phone आ रहा था. That lines are engaged. Lines are engaged. He was not able to get back to that. examination board fine yes it's not intelligent that two minutes later he heard some whispered communication sab usko kuch whispering suni and then bakleri's voice will you please stop writing a wee while mr evans and listen carefully candidates offering german 0211 should not the following correction on page 3 bas yahan tak karenge beta hum aaj on page 3 line 15 the fourth word should read golden in not Golden and the whole phrase will therefore read zoom golden in Lloyd. Not zoom golden in Lloyd. I will repeat that because this is German language, so that's why the words are like that. Correction was done about the words also. With this, I end this meet. We will continue tomorrow. Beta, please join. Okay, you have this period also. I just forgot. Uh, this is Monday, so we have uh, sixth period of English. Please do join. so that we can continue this interesting chapter okay beta will you join this because second repeated period mein bahut kam bacche aate that is very bad on your part this is very interesting chapter you will not repent it okay after doing this so please do join in the repeated period as well have a nice day